Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ, and I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls, and this channel is made for adult doll and toy collectors. This adorable little birdhouse over here, L.A. painted that for me. Uh, my mom sent her this cute little birdhouse to, like, make and design everything, and L.A. went ahead and, like, colored it and everything and gave it to me to set on my doll desk, so I love it. It's adorable. But today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Magic Mixies Pixlings. So I've done numerous videos on, on these little cuties. Um, I have them up on a little shelf and I've purposely left two spots available on that shelf because they have actually come out with two brand new ones, a fairy pixling and a dragon pixling. So here's the fairy. Here is the dragon on the side. So, like I said, these are my Moose Toys, and they kind of tie in with the Magic Mixies line, where they had a cauldron, a crystal ball, and the newest one was a genie lamp, and you can create this fun little furry creature who can make magic with you and all that fun stuff. They also have little mini ones. I have a couple of those. Uh, these guys are just so cute, and I love them, and I love the whole concept of, like, you're creating them. You're you're creating your own little pixeling, and I love that. So so far we have a deer pixeling, a butterfly pixeling, a bunny one, a unicorn, and a mermaid. And like I said, they have two new ones now. So we're gonna unbox this one and see which one we got. So all of these guys come in this little like potion bottle looking thing. <laughs> so the gem color on all of them is going to be different and that kind of like lets you know which one you're making I already know which one I'm making because I chose it but you guys aren't gonna know which one we're making until I've created it but it says now five to create and I I don't know if they're not counting I don't know how there's five because we have the mermaid the unicorn the winter bunny one the butterfly the deer, the fairy, and the dragon. That's seven. Am I, am I missing something? Can I not math? I mean, I know I was not great in math, but like that's seven, right? I have five right now. I'm opening this one, so that's six. And then there's the other one, which is seven. Huh? With all of my confusion out of the way, what you do with these guys is you mix your potion and a pixeling magically appears. If you are interested, there is the barcode. I did get this off of Amazon for $17.99. I have only seen the two new ones, the fairy and the dragon on Amazon. I have not seen them in my targets and my Walmart I don't even try half the time with my Walmart because they are so terrible at stocking things. So terrible. It is still, it's like a month after Christmas and they, the, the shelves are still empty. Right up here, you're going to tear this little tab. It, you have to tear it. You cannot cut it. So we're going to go ahead and tear that. Ow. Oh, that that was beautiful that tore so beautifully um start the potion with potion guide honestly for as many times as i've opened these you would think i would have this down to a science of what i'm supposed to do but it's been a while so i'm still confused i have no idea where that just shot off to but okay so in this little plastic container that is on the side you are going to find all your potions so you have this is potion five four six and two and here is your potion guide so it says right up here start the magic with potion guide so we're just gonna open this and see what we have to do instructions so the potion making can get messy i haven't dealt with anything ever being messy it always recommends putting down a paper plate or whatever i don't do that i just i just go right on in and if i make a mess i make a mess 
it's fine. So we are going to remove the paper ring, which is this right up here. Oh, don't remove that. Oops. All right, that is removed. Moving on to step two, pour in your Pixling Power Elixir. So you're gonna cut it, you're gonna fold end of bag into the opening, and then you're going to lift and pour it into the potion bottle. Oh, gotta remove this too. This is just a mess, because I have not done these in a while. All right, so this is potion bottle two. And the liquid in here, it, it looks blue and it looks like it, it it smells like just like basic soap so did that open did it open no Got it right there fold it in and pour it in all right step three is you are going to fill the potion bottle to the line with water so the line is to help you gauge how high you are supposed to fill it with water. So I have my little bottle of water. And we're just going to pour that in there. Step four is sprinkle in gold dust. So that is going to be this little bag right here that looks like a little pouch labeled with four. And there is typically a notch on here on where you're supposed to open it. But there we go. Oh, oh. As I dropped a majority of it on the floor, wouldn't be a video if I did not drop something into the abyss of my doll room floor. All right, I found it. And this is what the little gold dust looks like. And you are just going to take those and put them in right there. And step five, you are going to pour in your Pixling Magic Elixir. So everything that you did for step two, you are now going to do for step five. Fold it in and lift. Step six is add a dragon egg. So that'll kind of give you guys an idea of which one we got. So here is the next little potion bottle. We're gonna tear it at the notch and take out our little dragon egg. That's so pretty. And we're just gonna drop that on in there and seven is remove the golden ring to reveal the magic words. That is right up here. And you're just going to remove that. Now, don't throw this away because this is also going to act as the stand for the little pixeling that you create. And right up here, we have the magic words, which are Magicus Mixus. Eight, turn the crystal gem until it stops. Crystal gem is up here and you're going to turn it until it stops. And then step nine, say the magic words, Magicus Mixus, and push down hard twice on the crystal gem. Release and wait a minute for the magic to turn your potion clear. So, Magicus Mixus, Magicus Mixus. And you just basically wait, and as you can see, the potion is dissolving to reveal our little pixeling. That one actually worked really well and disappeared super fast. Once all your potion is dissolved, you are going to unscrew the lid and we'll just move this to the side and then you just unscrew the cylinder. Ooh. And you can remove your little pixeling. Here is our little pixeling out of the cylinder. And within the cylinder that holds the doll, you do get a little collector's guide. 
So enter the enchanted realm of the magic mixies, pixelings where potions flow from waterfalls and fountains, pixelings spread magic moments and joy throughout all the land. Now it's your turn to create a magical potion and reveal your magic mixies pixelings. You have created Amber, the dragon pixeling, potion powers, inner strength. Unleashing her magical dragon spirit, Amber bravely takes on any challenge. Her power of inner strength, inner strength helps her soar without fear. With a splash of Amber's Be Brave potion, you'll believe you can achieve. And don't throw away your potion bottle when you're done doing this because you can scan for more potions to create in your potion bottle. So that's a really good way to kind of reuse the packaging. I have also seen where some people rinse them out and stick their pixlings back in them and display them on the shelf. Um, I think LA has all of mine and she actually places all of her like little doll accessories in them. So pay attention to the gem color that I told you was on the bottle because that's kind of the one you'll create. So purple, Unia, the unicorn pixeling, pink, dearly, the deer pixeling, blue, Marina, the mermaid pixeling, and orange, amber, the dragon pixeling, and green is Faye, the fairy pixeling. Um, the bunny pixeling one, the winter one, she comes in like her own little thing. You're going to know that's the one you're going to get. And for the butterfly one, I think hers is like a pale pink, dark pink color, something like that. I cannot remember. It's been a while. And I believe she is a Walmart exclusive. So you'll only be able to find her at Walmart. And you're going to know it's her because her face is front and center on the packaging. But let's take a closer look at Amber. So here she is. And the one thing that I'm just captivated by with these dolls is their faces. Their faces look like up close is a little bit pixelated far away it just looks like they've been hand painted like somebody would do with like an one-of-a-kind doll like customization that's what these faces remind me of and I think it's just so beautifully done so her hair is up in these two little pigtails so we've got some pink and then there is some blue throughout she has these little bangs hanging down and her gem is right in the center of them. And then she's got little tendrils right here. But just like the scales on her face are so beautiful. She did get a little wet, but it's fine. No big deal. She's got this beautiful like pearlescent green color going on. She's got like little swirls sculpted into her arms. What are little fingernails? For the size of these dolls, they are very detailed. So her top, these dolls do have sculpted on sculpted on tops and I'm okay with that. And it's just so beautiful. Like a little heart right here. Oh, it's so cute. And then she does have wings. The wings are not removable, but they're like gold and they fade out to like a pink color. We have like a little heart in the middle. And she has this furry little skirt on. So it is blue, then a pale pink, then a pale purple. That is so cute. And then her boots. They look like scales with like silver kind of swirl effect. The heels. The shoes on these guys are also very detailed. I love it. I love it. Again, here's just a look at her face. And then she's got these like little barrettes in her hair. She's so cute. As far as articulation, she can turn her head. She is articulated in the shoulders and the elbow. And she can sit. I just adore these little Magic Mixies pixlings. I just think they're so adorable. I love the face. Like their face just looks so soft and delicate. I, I love it. And I just think the whole concept of, you know, creating a potion to create your magic mixy pixeling is just so much fun. And I see where there's a lot of hate because of all of the packaging. But like I said, there is that QR code that is in the 
little collector's guide that you can scan to create more potions. And there's a lot you can do to reuse the um, potion bottle. So to me, it's not really too much waste with that. I mean, all the, the potion packaging could be considered waste. But something I would like to see with this little concept with the pixeling is I would like to see some fashion dolls, like maybe some 11 inch, 12 inch type fashion dolls where there's like a little bit more articulation, some more clothing pieces. Um, if you are interested to learn more about the Magic Mixies Pixlings, they do have a um, like little webisodes on the, um, I'm not sure if it's the Moose Toys exclusive YouTube. I don't even know if they have YouTube. And, or I think it's on the Magic Mixies Pixlings or Magic Mixies YouTube. I've watched a couple episodes. It's actually, you know, really cute. Girl ends up falling into their world and they don't know who she is and she doesn't know who they are. So yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting, cute little, little concept that these are geared towards kids, but I think they're adorable. Like I said, I got it for $17.99 on Amazon. Um, that is basically the same price that they are in stores. But like I said, I haven't seen the two new ones in stores just yet. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the brand new Magic Mixies Pixlings. Do you have any? Do you plan on getting any? And what do you guys think um, about like the concept of creating them and all that fun stuff? And I hope to see you in the next video. Love you. Bye. And she is just going to go right there on the Magic Mixie Pixling shelf. Perfect. Beautiful spot.